Morning YouTube. Uh, you join me at the NEC with a slightly soft focus. Let's have a go at cleaning that lens. And uh, oh, there we go. Had an Austin 7 right above my head. Uh, I'm going to have a quick walk around Hall 5 uh, very quickly because um, there's an awful lot to see and I haven't seen everything yet. Let's look at this lovely Rover 400 uh, of the R8 series. Look at that. Uh, brilliant pink paintwork. I wonder if their plan is to mop it over the weekend and by the end of the weekend it'll all be the same colour. Um, who can tell? Um, I'm going to start over here actually, even though I've already started. Good morning! Um, with this gorgeous seafoam green Austin um, A90 Atlantic. That's going to be a stunning car when that's finished. And um, yeah, here's one they haven't quite finished yet. Marvellous creatures. And um, brown. Winning brown. I'm, it always makes me feel old when I see Montego Estates here because the first car I drove after passing my driving test was the Montego Estate. But um, this is one of my finds of the show already. Look at this gorgeous Datsun Cherry. Uh, I was going to go in for a closer look. Oh, it's called Beryl. I think Beryl needs a wash. Um, yes, get well soon, Tuck. She, she will be fighting fit again, don't you worry. Um, she has a hard life being a, a car I own, but um, yeah, lots of lovely metros here, including a Cooper, they've got Maxis, um, there's an awful lot to see. So um, let's stop looking at my ugly mug and flip you onto the other camera. Haha, -ha. look at that, there's some hot rear wiper action for a start. So I, I like this, you've got young MGs and older MGs. Watching from school, that's very naughty. I hope you're paying attention to your lessons. Uh, look at that. Th this show's all about restoration, so you tend to get lots of um, barn find stuff. Hello, Kevin. Thank you very much for the timing light. I haven't used it yet. I'm sure I will do. That's gorgeous. Um, loads of sunbeams. Always a pleasure. Right, let's go marching off. I'll try not to get arrested. World Cup Rally Maxi. Oh, that's, that, that's a bit tasty, and I don't even like Volkswagens. What a lovely colour. There's a beauty. Droop Snoop. Was there a Droop Snoop? I, I could well have missed a Droop Snoop. I don't think I've missed a Droop Snoop, but I shall keep an eye out for Droop Snoops. Um, we've got the Fiat stand here at the moment. This belongs to my mate Gavin. I think he saved this from the scrapyard. But once again, we've got great rear wiper excitement on a saloon. Look at that. How can I not like Volkswagen? But they're just not very interesting cars, are they, to be honest? Uh, I'd far rather have a Panda 4 before myself. Um, but it's just personal choice. The, the Volkswagens just leave me a bit cold. That's all. As a Reliance Scimitar, I used to own one very similar to that. There we go, lovely, lovely Lancias. And um, I, I, I do like a bit of Robin action, I must admit. Is there much pre-war? Yeah, there's a bit here and there. Um, I shall, I'm, I'm here all three days, so this is just going to be my preliminary report. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and um, cover everything as best we can. Uh, bond bugs. If you want to know what a bond bug looked like without any clothes. That's what it looks like. All in various states of um, disrepair, I'd call that. Oh, hello. That's a bit of an oof. Look at that for some bleach paint. Well, you can't fake that, can you? And um, a lowered beetle for a change. Uh, transits. There's always a good display of transits here. Um, but um, oh, we'll just have a quick look at the Maestro van down the back there. And uh, I'm going to take you over here. Because there are things I want to show you and I've already used up five minutes. Oh look, there's, there's Richard Gunn from Classic Car Weekly. Uh, got Volvos variously. Oh, nice to see a BX here. A GTI 4x4. They've got a gearbox made of chocolate. So that's quite a rarity. 1975 Citroen CX. That must be an early one. And that's Nigel Wilde. 
Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yes, please. What a beast. Uh, Renault 18, when did you last see a Renault 18? And it's a sporty one as well, GTF. Look, we've got the rear spoiler going on. Always love the way the spoiler wrapped down the side of the car. Morning. Morning. Very nice, very rare. Uh, oh, <laughs> Matras, look, they're everywhere. You, you're never far from a Matra Marina, it seems. Uh, I drove one yesterday, you'll be pleased to hear. And that will be coming to Hubnut very soon, as soon as I can get it edited up. So I think that blue one is a 1.6. Um, don't know what engine's in this one. Uh, the engine was actually out of the Talbot Tagora. And the one I drove yesterday was, um, yeah, a bit pepped up. It was hugely entertaining. Let's go and see Toyotas, because I like Toyotas. Yes, his tracking did seem a bit out on his trolley, you're quite right. Uh, Toyota Enthusiast Club always put on a good stand. So let's go and have a look at what we've got down here. Look at that, it's a Sun Chaser Celica convertible. If you're interested in Celica convertibles, check out the latest issue of Retro Japanese magazine where we've got, uh, I think, five pages just on um, Celica convertibles. Because that's the sort of thing I like to do. Beautiful Supra, an earlier Celica, look at that, what a gorgeous, gorgeous car. And here's Harvey polishing Ollie. So, morning. This is a Toyota 1000, but um, Harvey and Gemma here restored between them. And we did a feature on that in Retro Japanese magazine. Beautiful, beautiful car. Do you mind if we have a look inside? I'll, I'll, I'll crop it well. Look, look, we'll stay up. Look at that. Four speed gearbox. Not a performance machine, but that's fine. I don't like performance machines. Look at solid clunk. Beautiful. So this is Hall 5, and frankly Hall 5 is the best hall. This is where all the winning cars are. We've got um, Mitsubishi 3000 GTOs and GTs up at the back there. They're, they're quite quick, I can tell you. Gorgeous, gorgeous Skodas. And a Skoda favorite. Oh, wow, that, that pleases me greatly. Look at that. One of the late Silverline um, editions with the metallic paint and the alloys. I love favorites. God, these Montego estates are everywhere. I thought Montego estates were rare. That's good to see. Uh, let's go. Here we go. Here's an old car for the person who was after old cars. Uh, I'll do more Volvos tomorrow. Um, uh, I'm running out of time on this broadcast. I only want to do 10 minutes. Uh, it's the Federation of British Historic Vehicle Clubs. Very important people. Do a lot of campaigning for us. And um, this is uh, the Austin Westminster Estate. But Practical Classics saved from the scrappy. I remember this, this was going to get bang erased years ago. And it's taken them a long time to get that restored. Uh, still missing the boot handle, or maybe that's a security measure to stop someone nicking it. But yeah, still a work in progress, but that's a lovely car. Used to own an A90 Westminster myself. And you'll find me this weekend lurking on this stand with the two CVs, uh, obviously. Ooh, Audi Coupes. Um, because I like um, two CVs. So here's one stripped down. So we've got a bare chassis here. I don't know if we're planning to actually re it this weekend or if this is just for show. But two CVs in pieces, very much what we're about here. Right, um, along here we've got um, Trabants and Wartburgs and a very nice early Audi. 80 I think. That's a later Wartburg with a Volkswagen engine and a Barkas which has a Wartburg engine. Fantastic. So yeah, lots and lots of lovely, lovely vehicles here. Even a police escort van, look at that. So as ever, wondrous variety. Um, I think we'd better go and finish with the Wage Princesses, really. They're very much my cup of tea. 
There we go. That's a 100 club special. They're very rare, but really I'm all about the Reynard Metallic. Look at that. What a beauty. Right, uh, I'm going to go and enjoy the show. I shall leave you looking at a Rover P5 Hearse. And I shall see you again in a future video. I'm probably going to be live, uh, doing a live video from the show um, about 12 o'clock tomorrow is my aim. Um, but if you're at the show, do come and say hello. We're in Hall 5. And I shall see you again in a future live video. Farewell.